excited to test out this new weapon. Where does it want me to go? Oh. Oh, it actually wants me to go, like... Okay, it wants me to actually go to Azure. I don't think I've ever been there in this character. This is the farthest... West? Yeah, west I've... I've been, I think. So far. The Azure and Capital. Looks like we're... They're letting us do quite a bit of missions, which is nice. Okay, where is he? Meet Gore. It's your turn to dance and sing. Right. I'm exhausted. The mist will you still be there tomorrow. <laughs> Too long. Oh, here we go. Magic sucks. <laughs> Magic sucks, man. Hello. Gore's waiting by his lab. Approach cautiously. Something seems amiss. As you can see, there's trouble. Yes, yes, look all you like. The doors are transparent. There are risen in my lab. I'm developing a weapon based on my theory of mm, draconic enchanto consumption. Essentially, it removes the magic from a person or object, poisons it, and then transfers it back. Hypothetically, the vacuum magic polarizer will reverse the magical essence of Zaitan's tangible will within the Risen, and therefore destroy them. A cunning idea. Does the weapon work? Mm, theoretically. My associates at the Upsilon facility sent me test subjects, but the creatures uh, uh, got away, as you can see. Don't worry, Gore. Give me one of your prototypes and we'll kill two plights with one stone, testing the weapon while clearing the lab. This way to the vacuum magic polarizers. Follow me. Thor, are you there? Oh my gosh. A vacuum, what is this? A vacuum magic polarizer, okay. Take. Beautiful, aren't they? The first button fires a basic defrastic bolt. The simple bolt will grow more powerful as the polarizer is charged. The second button activates the vacuum magic inhalation, sucking magic from the target. This charges the polarizer. The weapon can store up to three charges. The weapon depolarizes any enchantments it holds, and the third button empties those charges into a mighty arcane arrow. Fully charged, it packs a mighty wallop. Take the polarizer to the lab, and we'll quantify a test subject. Oh boy. So... I'll open the color spectrum filter. Am I supposed to take his magic? only certain wavelengths to pass. That way, they'll come out in small groups. Green, then blue, red last, of course. The most dangerous things are always the red ones. Ready? Here we go. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, oh, wait. I would be surprised if Zaitan even bothers with controlling its lesser minions. Oh, I'm supposed to hold they this. Nothing but destroy. Wait. Wow, this thing is powerful. Can I keep this? Is that a possibility? That thing is amazing. Am I supposed to hold E? No, it just looks like it's one charge move. Maybe I'm supposed to get- I think I'm supposed to get close when I use this. The range- Yeah, there's a range on it. Analytical metrics seem favorable. Try charging the polarizer two or three times before you fire. Your output should grow exponentially. Next filter disengaged. Time for the blue ones. Ah, blue. The color of oceans and my artichokes. The so ones keep, I made while dabbling in organic- Excuse me, keep using it. They also hold a larger quantity of- Oh my- Gosh! Will, perhaps? Holy moly, that was amazing. Oh, what is that? Blast foes with cone attack, okay. The vacuum magic polarizer is doing even better than anticipated. We're out of beta. This is fantastic. Releasing the red filter. This, this is fantastic. Oh my gosh. Shouldn't taught me anything at all. Indeed. These creatures are acting with more self-will. Zaitans infuse them with tremendous energy. 
See how the weapon affects them. And Geronimo. Yeah, I can see how it does that. It's wrecking. It's wrecking amazingly. Can I keep this weapon? This will make my journeys very, very easy. I'd like to keep these, please. Can, can I keep these? How much How much do you want for this? How much do you want for this? I'll have it. I'll take it. So tired. Brilliant. I'm brilliant. It works beautifully. The vacuum magic polarizer is ready for ore. Ready for more? You heard an apprentices. Get back. Answer the teleporter pad. What? No! I said ore, not more. Gah! This intercom's a mess. What's that? Time to send the rest? Okay. Incoming! What the heck is that? A gorilla? A risen gorilla? What? What? There's gorillas in this game? Okay, can I get one of them? Can I get a, can I get a gorilla pet? Is that a possibility? Is that a possibility? Time to blow this mother down. It's time to blow this mother down. Yeah, screw it. Okay, so that makes me think I can actually get a gorilla pet. <clears throat> and if that's a possibility, well, actually, I can just go to here, and it should show me all the pets. I see no gorilla. Magnificent! The vacuum magic polarizer destroyed the Risen! Er, hmm. And my lab. Oh well, that's what apprentices are for. Your weapon was extremely effective against the servants of Zaitan. It'll be instrumental in recapturing Claw Island. I'll take the prototypes to Lion's Arch immediately. It's the least I can do. The Order of Whispers saved my life. Will you be all right cleaning up here, Gore? Yes, yes. Once my apprentices return from the Upsilon facility, I'll put them on it. And a mental note, fix oral relay on the intercom. Yeah, you I might dreamed of Orr, as Kaith did. But where she saw a dragon to fight, I saw a land to heal. At least Kaith had a tangible target. I barely knew where to begin. Such brave people willing to risk so much. But do we even have a chance at victory? Lightbringer, the Orions are firmly entrenched. It will be incredibly difficult to regain Claw Island. We can't give up hope, Traherne. I haven't. In fact, I'm counting on hope to lead the way. To that end, we should ask for wisdom from the Pale Tree. If anyone knows how to defeat Zaitan, it is the Mother. Meet me at the Grove, and we'll speak with her before the battle. The Mother? Interesting. Okay, what do we get? Ooh, a harpoon. Ooh, a new harpoon gun. Uh, thanks. Always go with the harpoon gun. Hey, we leveled up. 61! Equip. Heck yeah. I love the harpoon gun. Mixed with the, it just it might be one of the funnest things I've ever done. Just all seeing all the bleeds, just oh mm, it's great. Anyways, enough of that. Let's go with uh this one. I need to put these seals in. Unused upgrade slot, okay. What do you want? Let's uh let's put one of these in there. Wait. Um. Where do we loot from that? Shield? I can't use shields. Sword. I don't know. 70 precision, 12 ferocity, but this one gives me 21 power. And it has six more defense. 
Looks like I'm gonna have to go with this one. As much as I like that other one, I don't think it's logical to keep it. And my inventory's getting full. Probably should clear it out. Oh yeah, I got a black... Where's that key at? I got a key, right? Here we go. Open. That Here we go. Valuable. What's that? A two tomes... Two tomes of knowledge double click to gain one character level. What? Heck yeah! That's oh heck dope. yeah! 63! Oh, that's amazing! Two character levels! A regenerative booster? What else did I get from that? I don't even remember. Oh my god! That's awesome! Oh, heck yeah! 63! An unidentified die. That's awesome! Level 63! I need to get more of those keys. Wow! Okay. That is awesome. Heck yeah, hang on, I'm gonna salvage some stuff. Might as well clean out our inventory while we're doing all this. Get all the luck. And then that other stuff we can't, we have to just sell. Right on! We got two of them! That gave us two levels! Holy moly! What is that? An orange? That is orange! We have not... Oh, an exotic equipment? What's that? You can now equip exotic gear. My first orange! An exotic! What in the world? Did we just run into? What does it look like? Okay, well it doesn't look good at all, but our first orange. I think that's the highest you can possibly go. It does a crap ton of damage and gives me a crap ton of stats. Wow, that just made my day right now. My day has been made. Holy moly. Alright, guys. Well, I'm getting it here, and tomorrow we're going to get our two more levels. And uh, we'll finish our... Keep continue, continuing the story mode. Eventually do the dungeon. I don't know how long the story mode is going to go on for until it tells me I need to level up more. Um, and then we'll do explorable. We'll do I the dungeons and then explorable the still. I know what it's like. Holy moly. Nothing. That was awesome. That just made me want to play again, but I don't want to get burnt out. I have to keep I have to keep the like the the hunger to play again in my brain cuz if I if I if I just keep playing I'm going to get burnt out and it's it's just not going to be good. So I'm going to hit her guys and whenever we come back well uh just, I need to get another one of these keys. Where's that chest at? How much How much does a key cost? I can get 25 keys. I can get one key. What's a... How much is 125 gems? So I can get... I can get 800 for $10. Man. That's amazing. There's still some boosts that I need to get. Not this. These dust bunnies have no interest in gut-wrenching, mind-blowing war. One-time rank point? are too exclusive. Uh, no, but where's the upgrade? I was wanting to, uh, I was wanting bank tabs. I was wanting to get, like, full bank tabs, full bag slots and stuff like that. 
Uh, maybe eventually I'll do that. I don't really... I don't really care to do that right now, but... Yeah, I'm definitely, I am definitely excited to play tomorrow. That's for sure. Anyways, I'm gonna end here. And uh, whenever we come back, we'll continue our story. Peace out.